right. These are channeled letters that I got. I'm not, like, channeling's not my strong suit. So, like, what I channeled, in my opinion, was a little bit more different than what other people may channel. Um, <laughs> I tried to channel like everybody else, and I ended up with this. Um, so we have the honey pile, which is honey, I'm good. Um, we have the two dozen roses, and we have don't quit your daydream. Um, th this was horrendous and funny all at the same time. So if you like parodies of channeled letters or, y you know, you think it's like a cute little it encoded letter, then you'll like this video. It's really funny. I read these like probably three times and I just, it was hysterical. So pick your envelope and we will start the readings. We're going to start with the honey one. It's fun. Okay, it says, Dear Honey, you let me be vulnerable. <laughs> you let yourself be vulnerable with me and trust me beyond comprehension. Always know that I love you. We both know the unseen seen feeling are beneath smiles and being cordial. This is where the bee fun comes in. Alright. This connection is special, amazing, and dare I say, destiny. I turn and lay my head against the pillow, uh, feeling your heartbeat drum a lullaby in my ear. Sounds like a bee. Um, I love how when you upset me, you try so hard to make it better. Grow closer, although we remain friends and see each other all the time, we are distant. When I see you, I see my future. I want to kiss those lips so deeply it takes your breath away and thrills you with promises of pleasures to come. For now you can imagine those promises and pleasures. Um, choose If you choose to try again, I will be yours forever. It sounds like a bee that just left the swarm. Anyway. A romantic evening, every word you can find with me, every wonderful, terrible moment you share with me, melts me inside. This is not just talk, it is truly comes from the heart. I don't know just how heavy the separation will be on my heart. I, I can't stand to be without you for a second longer. When I think about you and our rich conversations, I feel warmness inside. <laughs> Sounds like a bee in a hive. I just thought it was so funny. Like, I, I read the bee parts, like, probably, yeah, a lot. But it does sound like a beehive and his relationship to his hive and his honey and his, all those. It's, <laughs> I didn't channel that right, and I, I am sorry. But anyway... <laughs> so much fun. Anyway, I did try to channel something. And it's cute, it's sweet, and it kind of plays on the perfection of the honey and the bee and the hive and all that stuff that could go wrong with the hive. So, yeah, if, if you have a spouse that's into encoded letters, then by all means, that was your reading. Um, if, if you're silly like me and you're just like, if that was amazing, like, leave a like. It's just so funny. Anyway, I, I didn't know before the reading, like, how to channel, so 
But yeah, I, I just found that funny. These other people tried to help me out that were terror readers and I just found it hilarious. Anyway, let's go to A Dozen Roses. I don't remember how this one goes. Dear Dozen Roses, I will always be yours. True love. Lots of hugs. Your love has so much power that you can be what you're meant to be. The day when I started loving you is the day I lost myself. Just a moment ago I thought about you and my heart was filled with gratitude. You are more beautiful than sunshine, more precious than gold. Oh, I love you forever, always, and most of all, I thank you for the pleasure of being yours. Sometimes, when I can't hear you in your absence, I would call you up, my love. I love you so much. Thank you for the late night laughs and the early morning kisses. My love, you are and will remain my destiny. I want to be, give you all of the happiness in the world and I, I can possibly give. My love, as I am writing this letter, I have a thousand of thoughts running through my head. Kind of like somebody buying roses. Um, your love <laughs> is giving me... Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, no. <laughs> Your love has given me a start to the foreseeable future. The love that you have given me is truly selfless. You are the sun in my sky, the river that runs through my soul, and the very air I breathe. Love you a lot. Special delivery. That was, that was me cute cute. It was a... <laughs> I'm just silly. Channeling that one was hard. Um, yeah, A Dozen Roses, when I was channeling it, I got creativity, happiness, or um, love and lives, which was like, if you love somebody, you're thinking about how many roses to give, how many, how they make you feel, and the meaning of certain roses, and that's what was like channeled here like I used to be a floralist so you know it's it's kind of funny um because like people take in you know objects that symbolize their love but with me I take them in like literally I think so a lot of these letters that they channeled my literal mind got in the way of my creative mind so we got Two dozen roses <laughs> and honey. If you read, if you watched that one, but that was yeah. Now we have, don't quit your daydream, and this was with apple trees. I don't know where I was when I came up with this one, but this was this one was more literal, and I was getting a lot all at once, so I had to edit. This one was the only edited letter. I kind of stopped after I got the first paragraph, but it it would keep going. I mean, like, I, I was channeling, like, what the weather was like and stuff like that. It was really crazy. Dear Dreamer, I only know how difficult it is for me to restrain myself from rushing to you and to concentrate on my work. I love you for all you are and what you are since that very day until today. Baby, I love you immensely. Promise me that you will be by my side forever. I love you for being my sweetheart. I love you. It was one of the best moments of my life. My world was turned upside down. Since the time you had stepped into my life, I love you for caring and the joy that you shared without end. I love you forever and always, my love, beloved. 
I'll never stop loving you since the time I met you. I must tell you that I've never felt so divine in my life. <laughs> Lots of love, my darling. Um, the daydream. Now, <laughs> the reason why I had to edit this is that a lot of the lines started repeating. And it was kind of like, you know those weather balloons? And how they go up and down, like, before they hit the sky? I, I don't think it's an air balloon. It's more like it's a weather balloon. Because when, when the sky starts, you know, participating, the, the balloon will drop a little into the stratosphere and then it will go back up to the top of the stratosphere and that's kind of like the energy I was getting I was getting a little bit of a loop around and around like a balloon um, but yeah it would keep repeating like it would go from one complete thought and then it would go to asking questions, and then it would be gushy, and then it would be like a random thought, and then it would be something else. It was kind of like trying to wrangle in like a, you know, a wild animal when I was channeling this one. So, if you like this one, and you like Gushy, that's yours. Or if you just think it was cute, I thought it was cute. But yeah, I I think this one would be eight pages. This one would be another page, um, if it wanted to be. And this one was straight to the point. It would be like the adventures of um, Benjamin Button if I continue. <coughs> but I just wanted it to be like a page. And get to the concept of each letter for my first reading. So, if you like this, and you like my letters choose your favorite, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to do something like this again. Um, channeled letters are really hard to do, because you have to tune it out, and with me, my logical mind kicks in, and kind of wrangles in a little bit of my creativity sometimes. That's what happened here. I still think it was funny, though, because it's kind of like a coded letter, letter. it's kind of Yeah, it's it's more like a secret language between people. Um, but yeah, my energies were different. I didn't really... I didn't really tune it in like the other people who were trying to tell me how to do letters. You know, did theirs. But like, with mine... I, I just kind of went for it. Like, I, I meditated, I did this, I wrote some stuff down, I went back into meditation, and I came up with these. Um, a lot of energies came through, a lot of ramblings came through, and you kind of have to get it down into a concrete word. It's a lot of fun. So, if if you wonder how I did this, I meditate. I don't go into like, oh, I lit a fire in the fireplace, and I lit candles, and I read tarot cards. I did not read tarot cards. I meditated. I meditated hardcore, and I really tried to do these. And st stuff comes through when you meditate. It doesn't come through when you use cards or smoke or anything. At least for me, but some people, they get a little bit too into the comical with their own readings. So, I'll see you later.